Hello YouTube and welcome back into another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Kingdom Come Deliverance and we're doing another fan requested armor guide. This one is the Grand Duchy of Lithuania armor guide and this was requested by Arnis. So I'll pop the comment up on there because this one's one of the longer ones. So basically he actually suggested, he or she, actually suggested almost every single item in the suit of armor. I added a few that weren't in there but I assume those were just left up to dealer's choice. But he actually laid out you know, exactly what the suit was supposed to be made out of, and, you know, explained it a little bit. So he asked, can you do a Grand Duchy of Lithuania armor guide when you get back to KCD? And you know what? That's a great question, because I can always do another armor guide, and I never stop doing KCD. So it's not really when I get back to it, it's just when I stop playing something else for a small break. So quite recently I was doing a bit of cyberpunk, but now I'm, you know, kind of not. So back to KCD. Uh, but anyway, let's get right into it with weapons. For weapons, the specific requests were for the Razor Short Sword, which can be purchased in the Rite Swordsmith. Uh, a good short sword. It's one of my go-tos. I definitely enjoy this one. It's got good slash damage, which is one of the things I really like in a short sword. Because I don't like to sit there and poke with a short sword. So, 46, 64, 3. Decent defense. Real good charisma boost. It's definitely a good short sword. Very, uh, very, very good. So, good recommendation there. Then we have a shield with the Tamburg Crest. Uh, Tam... Talmberg crest. Wow, that was hard for me to say. And it uh, said with the lily plant pattern, which I'm pretty sure is this, that's uh, Sir Divish's personal crest. So that's the one that was recommended. And then a dagger because no suit of armor is ever complete without a dagger. So that's the weapons. Let's add the clothing. All right. And so for clothing, the request was made for Nobleman's Red Hose, the Red Padded Quaff, and the Decorated Arming Doublet. And so that's uh, what we got here. It just said Decorated Arming Doublet. I assume that the request meant the red one. So I put that one on. And then I added, these three weren't in there, but I added them because this is a very high-ranking suit of armor for a high-ranking individual. So I figured a family ring, gold chain, and golden spurs being the pinnacle of fanciness in the game would be the right uh, call. So that's the clothing. Let's add the second layer, the male layer. So here's what it looks like with our second layer. We have the Warhorse Gamson Chosses, which I, I get what the... Th the theme is we're going for red, so that's why they do it. But obviously it would be a, a real good stat boost if we did male chosses instead. But we'll stick with those. Noble's male quaff, best quaff in the game. And long noble hauberk, very, very good uh, hauberk. Some would argue best in the game. I personally like the short hauberk because it has the same stats, but, you know, you get to see some of your arm and it's a little bit lighter. So, you know, horse piece, but definitely very, very good chain mail. So let's put the armor on and see what it looks like. Okay, and so for the armor, we have the House of Zul helmet. I'm pretty sure best helmet in the game. The red dyed Milanese uh, brigandine, the Magdeburg plate pauldrons, and the Magdeburg plate chosses, and the nobleman's gauntlets. So all around, very, very good suit of armor. You're not going to be surprised when I tell you that the stats are very high on this. Uh, it's got a mix of uh, quite a few different themes, but we can tell that red is definitely the powerful element in this one. Uh, it actually bears a shocking resemblance to a recent armor guide I did for the Elite Talmberg Guard. It's a little bit different, but shockingly similar. Uh, but in any case, uh, stat-wise, this suit is worth 19,086.5 groschen. So pretty expensive, but that's to be expected from a very comprehensive suit of armor like this, especially made of high-end pieces. Uh, then a total AAR or average armor rating of 113 making it, it crosses the 100 mark, and it's a very, very good suit of armor. So this is going to be one of the best suits of armor you can build in the game. So definitely a good selection on pieces there. And then a total weight of 72.6 pounds, making it pretty light considering how great it is. So this suit, you're going to find, other than looking awesome, which it does, uh, you're going to find that it's got one of the best armor rating to weight ratios in the game. This is a suit of heavy armor, but it weighs less than 80 pounds. A lot of your full suits of armor are going to weigh over that 80 pound threshold, and that's pretty heavy. Uh, so this is, it's got the best of both worlds, stays under 20,000. It's super good protection, and it's not as heavy as a lot of things. Only thing that could be added, other than a bow and some arrows, which I would add because that's what I use primarily, is some sort of outer garment, a hood or a uh, combat jupon or something. But of course, that kind of throws off the vibe of the suit of armor, so I did not add anything there. But... That's all we have to say about showing you the uh, suit of armor. Let's see how it does in combat. And yeah, look at that. Some people presented themselves for us. <laughs> Is that the best you can do? You wouldn't do this to the Grand Duchy of Lithuania. It's too powerful for you. 
You get what for. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, I'm doing tremendously bad in this fight. Probably shouldn't have ran into it half cocked. Oh my god, there's three of them. There we go. Oh, it's even them odds. What's the matter? Lost to both. There we go. What's the matter? You lost your balls? Ooh. This guy's decent with an axe. They're not good enough. Let's see if any of these guys need a mercy kill. Uh, don't need it, but I'll give it to him anyway. Alright, well that was uh, not the fight I had planned for this video, but it's the fight we got. So let's see how our armor looks. We took a decent beating there. Not too bad, not too scratched up, not too bloody. Sword got a little bloody, but what do you expect from killing three peasants? So there we go, that is that armor guide. And again, that was requested by Arnas, uh, a viewer who I've noticed comment quite a bit on the channel. Actually, several times about this specific request. So hope hope you like that request. Anybody else wants to make a request, or if you want to make another one, Arnas, definitely go ahead and do that down in the comment section below. But in any case, thanks for watching, and have a nice day. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you liked this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.